Hello and welcome to Infinity. This is a little bit of a technical uh, video, so if you're not into the bits and bytes and formulae, then look away now. So, what we have left is a bunch of folks who will probably find something wrong with what I do, but that's okay, let's try uh, getting on with it. So, the problem is, if you're putting a formula into something, typically apply image, you often want to say, well, if it's this, do this. Otherwise, do that. Which, if you're a computer programmer or if you've ever done it, you know is conditional formatting or conditional expressions because you're basing it on a condition. So what you want to do is you turn x into a naught or a 1 and then multiply. So it looks something like, like this. Here's the basic thing. This is so obvious, but it's actually important. You take one away from one, it's naught, and, and so on all the way down. You can do that. Um, but it, it appears in what we do. So here, I say our solution is y times x plus z times 1 minus x. So if I got x is going to be naught or 1, then if x is 1, then s is going to be equal to y, because s is y times 1. And the z is multiplied by 1 minus x, which is the inverse of it, which is 0. And then the other way around, if x is 0, you get y times x, that disappears. And 1 minus 0 is 1, so you get the z. And this principle can be used wherever you want to say so this to this, otherwise do that. Some of the things that we can get along the way is, is here's an example, say so how to say if red is 0 0.6, then I want it to be 1, otherwise 0. Um, and the solution is subtract, do an absolute and round. So what's that? So if I take 0 0.6 and take it away, from, then if red is greater than 0 0.6, it's going to be negative. Otherwise, it's going to be somewhere in the middle. But only if red is equal to 0 0.6, will it be 0. So this is the way I get to zero and everything else I want to be one. And then if I wanted to say I want that to be one, I need to turn it upside down. So do the one minus thing. A formula you can use in this is abs or absolute. And all this very simply does is it throws away the minus sign. So if red is say 0 0.9, it would be minus 0 0.3. But throw away the minus sign, it's plus 0 0.3. So you can still get it back to, to that. So, so removing the negative, you do something like this, abs of 0 0.6 minus r. And abs is short for absolute. We also do rounding. And you could not just rounding off, but you can deliberately round down and you can round up. What this does is, in, in particular, it lets you force things to 0 or to 1. So fractions here. If you round down anything with 0 0.1, 0 0.9, it's still going to go back to naught. And if you're going to round up, then anything that's not naught rounds up to 1. You can't, if you've got 1 here, if you have 1.5 and rounded down, it would still go down to 1. But colours can only be between naught and 1. So up here, then we need to have a rounding of this. So it's going to be the naught you want to keep, everything else you want to throw up to 1. Yeah, so we want to use a round up because you naught you want to keep, everything else throw up to 1. So round then is and 1 minus reverse it because it comes out that naught, you end up with naught is, is when you've got the condition you want. And so you could take one away from it to get the answer. And this is the way you build up formulae like this. Here's another one. How to erase red that is less than 40%. And you subtract, round up and multiply and do something like this. And let's actually take this and put it onto an image. So I will copy that, Control C. Go over here to an image and go to filters, apply image layer equations. I'll stick green and blue to zero because I'm just going to work on the red channel. Pasting that formula. 
the eye need to turn that to SR so when I get that it should go white and look areas here that have gone black these are the areas that are less than 40 percent red you can test it effectively if you go into a face then you get there the face is going to be red so that's kept because uh, you know, the, the, the dilemma is sometimes you get it the wrong way around um, also if I take away the one that I'm multiplying on the end then now it's ones and zeros and I could then use this as a mask so if I wanted to turn this into a mask I could copy this and put it into the others so I get a black and white image altogether uh, and I could then mask that out it's an arbitrary thing I showed but that's the kind of thing that you can do what else um, another problem is how to ensure that things are kept between 0 and 1 if you're doing calculations that could end up as, as minus 50 or 600 or something and the answer is clamp there's a function called clamp and like this for example if I say clamp of minus 5 0 and 1 it will say can't do minus 5 I can bump that up to 0 clamping 20 between 0 and 1 that's not going to go beyond 1 so it's going to be 20 sorry going to be 1 so you just do it in a, a an expression like that so there you go that's the a summary of the formula that you can use uh, and I, I would use these in uh, apply image for doing conditional calculations and I'll be using these in some other videos. Thank you very much for watching.